you. Cuba's healthcare system is known for doing more with less. Like this team treating cholera patients in Haiti in 2011, every year Cuban physicians are dispatched to disaster zones and to countries that desperately need more doctors. But students from all over the world also come to Cuba to study at its highly respected medical schools. Kutso Rampal moved to Havana five years ago from Limpopo and says it's been a steep learning curve. When you get here first, you don't know the language that you speak here, you speak Spanish, so you have to go through a course of language before you can start with your medical studies. And that takes about three months, and from then they expect you to know everything in Spanish. But the same healthcare system that's attracted students from around the world is now suffering from Cuba's ailing economy. In recent years, the Cuban government has struggled to pay its foreign suppliers, and that's led to chronic shortages of medicine at hospitals like this one, the Hermanos Amajeras Clinic in central Havana. International students say the technology in Cuban hospitals is lagging behind other countries. Despite the lack of resources, Kutso says he's gotten a good education and will return to South Africa next year with skills badly needed at home. What I'm hoping to bring into my community is uh, a better service in terms of health service. Because from my community, we don't have doctors that attend the patients there. We don't have doctors that know the profile, the, the, the clinical profile of our community. But what I want to do is change that, uh, be the, 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 the one who creates a new system that will work for the community, that will make sure that uh, the community is served. Since the 1990s, hundreds of South Africans have come here to chase their dream of becoming a doctor. But Kutso and his fellow students may be among the last. Giles Gibson, SABC News, Havana.